Hi guys, my name is Barton. Welcome to your eighth tutorial on ISO 8583. So in this particular video, we'll be creating a variable ANS field. So this is going to be a field for storing alphabetic, numeric, and special characters of variable lengths. Okay, so this is going to take care of fields that are annotated as follows. If you have a field that's annotated as an as ANS. Uh, dot var you know sorry not var maybe dot 12 or n you know where n represents the length or dot 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 then this particular field is going to take care of that okay so most of the properties are similar to other fields so if you've watched the previous tutorial on variable non field so you know some of these fields are what they're used for so i'm not going to repeat that so if you don't know what these fields mean, uh, just watch the previous video and you'll understand what they actually mean. The constructor is going to be basically the same. So the only thing that is going to change here is the encode and the decode method. All the other methods are going to be the same. Okay. So when we go to the encode method, uh, the part for encoding the length going to be the same because the length can be encoded either in ASCII or in binary because length is a number all right but since this is an ANS field the values are almost always going to be encoded in ASCII so this is actually shorter than the variable numeric field okay so that's the only part that is going to change so here there is no way we are going to encode an ANS field using binary the content is always going to be in ascii okay because this is not a numeric field all right so the content is always going to be encoded in ascii all right so that's the only change in this method that's different from what we had in our variable num field okay so the decode method is also mostly similar to what we had in our variable num field so the only difference here is that in decoding we have no section for decoding yeah, binary content okay remember as i said an ans field is always going to be in ascii even if you go back to our fixed ans field you'll notice that the content is always in ascii right so there's no way we use we use binary for encoding this particular type of field. So that's it actually about the variable ANS field. And guys, just uh, to give you a heads up, other fields such as uh, such as variable, alphabetic, and numeric fields are going to be exactly the same. So for those particular fields, we're going to have a class that maybe extends uh, that or uh, one that actually uses the variable ANS because they are basically going to be the same. So the alphabetic and numeric content is always is always going to be encoded in ASCII. All right. Uh, things like track to data, uh, such fields, well, we are going to treat them just as ANS fields. So basically, what we'll do, I'm thinking, is uh, probably extend this class or uh, use encapsulation you know where we actually use this class inside uh, classes of those specific types okay so that's it for this particular type of field so uh, i have a test here that's supposed to simulate the encoding and decoding of an ans field so an example of an a variable ans field is field 60 okay field 60 is denoted as ans dot 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 and the length can go up to 99 but three digits are actually used to represent the length okay so if i go to my configuration file and look for field 60 uh, the maximum length for field 60 is 20 i don't know why i have that but in this particular case i need to put triple nine right because according to us since we're using this particular sample here, we can see that field 60 is an ANS field 
and the length is represented using three digits okay so go ahead and amend your config file to accommodate to account for that let's so make sure you save and as you can see here the value encoding the value encoding is in ascii all right and the length encoding is in ascii right so you can change the length encoding to ppcd but it doesn't really make a big of a difference so let's test this and see so this is a value that is 10 long okay this is just 10 zeros which is what i want to encode and then when i decode i want to compare to make sure that that is exactly what i get so if i run this test i expect to get a successful result right so if we check the result we can see that the encoded value has a zero one zero before it okay so this is our length and you can, as you can see zero one ten sorry zero ten is the length of this particular content all right and once we decode we are able to get the content back okay so see this is a very simple field right so let's try and change that encoding to binary and see what we get okay so remember the value encoding is always going to be in ascii so even if you change this it's not going to make a difference okay so just change to pcd for the length encoding then let's run our test once more voila our test is successful but as you can see now the length here is encoded in binary okay this length is encoded in binary and it's going to be two bytes right it's going to be two bytes right because three digits because we're using three digits to represent the length but since it's pcd in this particular case it's going to be two bytes all right so that's it for this particular video guys in the next video we're going to start looking at variable compound fields and fixed compound fields okay so that's going to be really interesting because now the compound fields are actually uh, represent the whole message and other fields that are compound like uh, field 127 okay so in the next video we'll be looking at compound fields so that's it for this particular video guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe